we are often asked if our hummingbird feeders attract birds, since they aren't really colorful. This short series of clips shows female ruby-throated hummingbirds feeding from a white ash feeder that hangs outside our living room window. You'll see in the clips that the bee guard has been painted red. Recent reading suggests that the color yellow is a strong attractant for wasps and hornets. The painted guard is an experiment to see if we notice a significant difference from a yellow guard. You don't need to purchase hummingbird nectar. A simple solution of one part sugar to four parts water is all that is needed in your feeder. Stronger sugar solutions act as more of an attractant for unwanted pests. Any feeder should be cleaned at least once a week. Many people buy feeders with large reservoirs and simply refill as necessary and never do any cleaning. The sugary solution is subject to contamination, which can be harmful and even deadly to hummingbirds. Frequent cleaning greatly reduces these risks. The inserts in our feeders have been friction fit to allow for removal and cleaning. Rather than having to take the whole feeder down, you simply remove the insert. Wash it with soap and water, give it a good rinse, and refill. Even finished wood undergoes seasonal movement, so from time to time it may be necessary to adjust the fit of the insert. The addition or removal of a small amount of electrical tape is all that is needed, and most people already have this low-tech solution around the house. We recommend you remove and clean the insert and store it separately for the winter. Hummingbirds are fascinating to watch, and we hope that the more natural appearance of our feeders will enhance the viewing experience. Check them out, as well as our other turnings, at www.turnedoutgreat.ca.